hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel make sure you subscribe and as always you click to the you click on the 2d sketch you come to the x y plane we'll be drawing a couple of circles so i'm toggling on my circle drawing two. then i come here to the center when i see green light i drag then the first circle is 230 mm you click 230 enter a second circle green light don't forget draw is 190 mm 190 our third circle is 100 mm 100 then our, then our last circle is 80 millimeter 80 enter and i zoom out now you right click and okay so you can toggle off your circle drawing tool next thing you want to do is you want to right click on this guy the circle 190 mm and click on construction to make it thin line then you want to draw a circle again i'll be drawing a circle here which is 20 mm 20 enter for those of you who want to be sure it's straight you click on this and the center line so there it is it is straight and the next thing you want to do is you want to click on circular then click on our circle toggle one to make it blue then come to the second arrow and the center here green light then you want to change six to four and enter okay so after you're done with that you want to click on finish sketch and i zoom out then our exit plane right and you come to plane offset from plane then you put 200 millimeter 200 millimeter enter then we come to let me zoom in sorry then you come to the edge here right you left click then click on add sketch yeah then the next thing you want to do is rectangle too so please pay attention you can see the rectangle here does not have a center though so you want to come down here to click on this rectangle with a center dot then anywhere here you want to draw your rectangle or square using 200 by 200 enter then you come to this touch this center line and this center line just so it can be aligned you are sure it is aligned then you come to dimension two touch this center line and this center line then you drag upwards the distance here was 300 300 expanded then you come to fillet our fillet is 20 then you touch this edge and this edge 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 yeah that being said and done then enter so we'll be drawing circles at these four points yeah so circle to c circle to click on circle to our center is this green then you draw and 20 enter circle here also 20 enter circle here 20 enter circle here also 20 and enter cool next we want to draw another circle in the center here which is diameter 80 and our second circle diameter 100 enter and finish sketch we want to go to our yz plane right yz plane edit sketch then sorry i need to put this downward so we can see what we want to do click on project geometry then touch this center and this center then we can go back to rest on our right hand side you pick your line to let me zoom in then you draw from this origin keep dragging keep dragging 
to drag in. I got a straight line just now, yes. And take it up to this origin, yeah. Right click and okay. Then I want to pick my fillet to 75 this time around. I touch this guy and I touch this guy. Yeah. And I'm done with the next phase. Plane, offset plane, then on our X, Z axis with distance 115 and enter. Yes, then we go to look at things from our plan. Yeah. But before we do that, let's hide our work plane worn so things don't get into each other. Toggle off the visibility and yeah, let's work on this surface. Touch the edge of the plane, then start sketch and come to the center and my circle to click on this guy circle to come to the center somewhere here just draw various circle of 60 80 and 100 mm so i draw my 60 enter with the same origin i draw my 80 enter and with the same origin i draw my 100 enter then we are with that line guiding me i want to draw another circle here with 20 enter then that same center also i want to draw another one which is 35 enter i come upwards also do the same thing draw 35 enter then again 20 enter then right click and okay so next thing you want to do is for you to make sure things are aligned click on this guy touch the center of this circle this circle and this circle or aligned as you can see then you touch this guy the other one yes then you touch this circle and this origin to make sure things are aligned and as you can see it didn't move obviously things are aligned so next thing is clicking on okay so next thing is clicking on dimension two, touching this guy and this guy drag it out here and that is 140 enter and i repeat the same process touch then remember what i said you want to touch this guy d29 right okay so touch the dimension to stay on you touch this guy and this guy drag it out then it's going to be d29 divided by 2 which is equals to 90. this is not centralized then remember i said you pick this guy touch this center and this center so it centralizes thing for us and we pick up dimension two once again we want to touch this center and this center which the distance is 90 mm oh. 90 mm enter i pick my line to i touch the body of my circle and i drag it to this big guy body of my circle here also drag it to this big guy sorry don't worry we're making it tangent we we'll just make sure you draw what is required of you to draw to this guy this guy to this guy so because we might have made a few mistakes you click on this then torch your circle and the line it corrects it the big guy and the line it corrects it my circle and the line it corrects it the big guy and the line yeah it's aligned already no problem cancel the big guy and this guy okay this guy and this guy this guy and this guy 
then this guy and this guy open okay, here. So this guy and this guy. Oh, that was like it. Yeah, then as always, remember we pick our trim tool. Trim. Then you want to cut off. Sorry, let me zoom in. Trim two is double done. I want to cut off. I have this circle. I want to cut off this guy. I want to cut off this guy. And this guy. Finish sketch. Sorry, sketch. Now I'll be toggling off all my dimensions. Sketch, dimension, sketch, dimension, sketch, dimension, sketch, dimension. And this work plane, I'll be toggling off visibility of the work plane. So here is my diagram. I will just finish it. Next thing we want to do is click on plane, offset plane, then our x, y axis, and that will be minus 445. Enter. Okay, so what you want to do next is click on the wall and edit sketch. This looks very, very rough, so we'll be sketching outside. We pick our circle two, we're drawing two circles once again. Circle 80, enter, and circle 60. 60, enter, then right click outside here. Okay, then we're using symmetry vertical as this. We click on this guy and this guy so it aligns sorry i have to rotate so now i want to use my project geometry click on project from this center to this center then i click on my dimension tool i want to dimension this wall okay see it here to this wall which is 80 enter and finish sketch um. Um. next thing also right click on the edge and toggle off visibility okay i come to generic go to steel steel alloy right and i come to extrude I change this to 20 and everything I want to do has to be inward. So I click on this guy and I want to zoom in to click on just this guy. Also zoom out. Then I click on plus. I come to this guy. And as much as possible, I don't want to click on everything just. Sorry, let me zoom in. To be sure, does this guy so avoid drama? Yeah, so I've extruded both now. I come to sweep, so I want to sweep. I come to sweep, select profile, first profile. Okay, so I go to my second sketch and I turn on visibility. I go to my sketch. 
3 yeah sketch 3 i turn on visibility also when i talk go on sweep so to touch my first profile let me zoom in here is my first profile and here is my curve okay and i zoom out yo i'm almost done at this point you have to turn off every visibility but i won't be doing that yet i just want you to see where we are at the moment so sitting back on my right pulling it sideways yeah uh, let's just say from the plan down okay back to home okay so for this next guy we go to extrude we torch on this guy and we go to two and torch this middle then we tell it to cut and we click on plus because we have something else so we click next sorry let's zoom in on this part and make it this yeah looks okay and uh, we click on plus again which will be this guy distance is 20 yeah for the last part we click on extrude we click on this guy quartz then to this portion i'll click on plus which is this slim guy alone two and okay so this is everything about our diagram then you can begin to go to each and toggle of visibility toggle of visibility sketch four sketch three toggle of visibility and Here's our diagram. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Not sure,